Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video, I am going to be doing another drugstore tutorial using products under $15. Now I have done a few of these before, under $20, under $15 and under $10. So if you want to watch any of them, I will link them down below in the description box. I have a bunch of makeup here that I really love and enjoy using. So if you enjoy this video while you're watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Flower Beauty Light Illusion and I have the shade Porcelain. Now you can pick up Flower Beauty at Chemist Warehouse here in Australia. This one does retail for $14. I will list every product that I use in the description box with the price as well. Now, I did try this a long, long time ago and I just can't remember my thoughts. So I thought, let's dip into it again. It's actually quite hard to find a drugstore foundation for under $15 unless it's on sale. I think I might go in and cover up these pimples first because they are very, very red. So for that, I'm going to be using the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, and this is in the shade C1. All right, so this is the shade of the foundation. I think it might be a little dark, but let's see. All right, there's definitely a difference between my face and my neck here, but I might just blend it down my neck a little to try and hide that. My neck and my chest is just so fair. My face does come across a bit darker, I think because of the redness and the pigmentation, but when I'm trying to match it to my neck, mm. all right, let me zoom you in and give you a close up of the foundation. So you can still see these blemishes. They were pretty big ones though. But look at that dewy finish. Oh my God. The shade is definitely too dark. I feel like I look really tanned. <laughs> so some lightning drops would help for next time. I have blended it down my neck though, so hopefully it's not too bad. All right, I'm going to go back in with the Conceal and Define Concealer. As I said, I have the shade C1. I do prefer this shade as it's not extremely fair because I also have C0.5, which I'll swatch for you here. It's quite pink toned and it's very, very fair. So this is C0.5 and this is C1. I might just take a bit of this concealer on my chin and my forehead just to lighten up, lighten up things a little. For powder, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me, and this is in the shade 110. I feel like I really don't give this powder enough love on my channel. It's a great powder, smooths everything out, sets everything in place, and it's the perfect fair shade. I'm going to start my brows now, and I have really been into the whole soap brow thing lately. So I literally have this bar of pear soap that I picked up from Chemist Warehouse for a few dollars. So I'm going to start with that. I just spray any setting spray onto there, and I get my spoolie and rub it in. Don't mind my rank spoolie. <laughs> And then I like to take that and brush it backwards through my brows so that it coats all the hairs. Then I brush them up. And then with the other end of my spoolie, I like to roll it over to flatten them down. So then I usually like to give them a few minutes to set. So I'll go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Now, I really wanted to get along with this bronzer so that I would have a nice affordable option to share with you guys. And it's the W7 Very Vegan Matte Bronzer. But unfortunately, I just found it to be a bit patchy and it didn't blend very well. So I'm going to go in with a bronzer that I have already used in one of these videos, but it's the one that I 10,000% would recommend and that is the Essence Contouring Duo Palette. This one comes with the two different shades. They are very cool toned and they just work perfectly for fair skin. So I like to just mix the two together. 
I find it's a really soft and blendable formula. It doesn't look powdery at all. It doesn't go patchy. It's just a really great formula and I think it's only $7. What a bargain. <laughs> For blush, I wanted to give you two options, one powder and one liquid. So for powder, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Coral. Now I have nearly used all of this and I can't tell you how exciting it is to nearly be done with a blush. I feel like they just take so long to get through. What I love about this blush is that it leaves a little bit of a sheen to the skin. So it gives a really nice healthy glow for a powder. It's just a really beautiful color and it's great, it's great. Now, if you're into liquid or cream blushes, I have the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. So I'm going to go ahead and mix them both together. This one here is the shade Pinched and this one is called Bubbly. Now, this is a very sheer formula and it leaves quite a glowy finish. I found that the best way to apply it is with your finger. So I've just got a little bit there and I'm going to start tapping that on. Can you see already the sheen that it's giving? Look at that. It's a very healthy glow. I find that these aren't extremely pigmented. So if you do like your blush to be more pigmented, I do suggest going in with a powder first and then just tapping a little bit of this over the top to give it that real fresh glowy finish. All right, for highlighter, I have the W7 Very Vegan Highlighting Powder, and I believe it's in the shade Nature's Glow. Now, this one I found to be a lot better of a formula than the bronzer. It's very pigmented and creamy, and it does leave a really beautiful glow. It's a tad deep for my skin tone, but I can get it to work if I go in with a really light hand. It's quite metallic, but if you do sheer it out, you get a very nice soft glow. So I'm going to go in with a nice big fluffy brush and just grab a little bit of that and lightly dust it on my cheekbones here. Before I go in and finish my brows, I'm going to set my face with my all time favorite drugstore setting spray. I have used this one in a previous video, but it's just that good. It's the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. This just keeps your makeup in place for so long. Okay, for brows, I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. eyebrow kit, and this is in the shade Light. Now, this comes with a powder and a wax. As you can see, I don't touch the wax. I'm just all about that powder. What I like about this is that it's a nice, cool-toned shade. Even though my hair is warm, I prefer to have a cool tone brow. I don't know. So I'm going in with an angled brush. This is actually a wing liner brush by Zoeva. And I'm going to draw a little line underneath to fix this up and then fill in a few gaps. Now, my favorite brow product to use is this Emco Beauty Feathering Brow Pen. And I really wanted to include it in today's video, but it's a little bit above $15. So, I went on another hunt to find a cheaper option, and I actually come across this Essence Tiny Tip Precise Brow Pen that was just released. Now, at Priceline, they only had a medium brown and a dark brown. So I'm a little nervous for the shade. It is a felt tip rather than a brush tip. So if we compare it to the M code, but it's very, very precise. So I'm going to test it out for the first time. What I love about a brow pen like this is that it really creates those hair like strokes that actually look real. So I love using it for the front of my brow here. I have filled it in quite a bit with powder, but see how it's still a little gappy? A pen like this just helps to draw in those strokes. I'm going to just do a few on the tail first. Okay, that is working amazingly. 
just the shade is a little deep. See here, I've drawn in those extra hairs. Oh my God. Seriously, look at those strokes. <sighs> I am so impressed with this. All right, now for eyeshadows, I do have a few different options here and I wanted to show you all of them because I have used them in previous videos. So first up, we have the e.l.f. bite-sized eyeshadows. These come in a variety of different color stories. I have cream and sugar. They're only a few dollars and they are really great quality eyeshadows. Each little palette comes with four shades, two matte and two shimmers. Next, I have the Makeup Revolution Reloaded palettes. And again, these come in a variety of different color stories. I do find the shimmers are a little bit dry on these ones, but they still work pretty well. And if you wet them, they work even better. And then one of my most favorite affordable eyeshadow palettes are these designer brands ICU palettes. Now again, these come in a variety of color stories, a mix of mattes and shimmers, and I really prefer these ones because I feel as though six shades is a good amount because you are getting a good mix of matte and shimmer. So the last time I used these, I went in with this palette Fired Up and this one called Carkeen. I think today I'm going to go in with Make It Mauve and perhaps Coco Loco. All right, so I just did one eye off camera and I did attempt cut crease. It's all right, it's all right. I am going to go in with another product just to really zhuzh this up a bit. And these are the Astralis Shimmer Pigment Pots. So I'm going in with the shade Nearly Naked and these are just the most beautiful, fine shimmers. They look absolutely beautiful. So this is what the shade looks like. I'm so terrified of spilling that. <laughs> what I like to do is just go in with whatever's on the lid. I just take a flat, dense eyeshadow brush and just tap it on. I don't use any glue or anything. Okay, so let me show you how I did my other eye. First, I'm going in with this light brown shade and I'm going to put that on the outer corner and blend it all through my crease. And I'm also going to bring it up pretty high, almost to my eyebrow. Then from the other palette, I'm going to take this deeper shade and again, put it in the outer corner and bring it into my crease, but not as high up as the brown shade. And then just taking those two shades and I'm going to put them on my lower lash line. So I'll smoke out the brown and then just add a little bit of the deeper shade. Then I'm going to go in with this pink shade here and run that from the inner corner and then blend it into the rest of the shade. All right, now this is the hard part. I'm going to take the concealer in a C0.5, so the lighter shade. And it kind of works really well because it does have a bit more of a pinky tone to it. And then with this brush here, this is the Morphe M421. I'm going to cut the crease. Wish me luck. Okay, I feel like I need to stop there before before things get out of hand. So firstly, I'm going with this shimmer here. Yep, this one here. And this is the brush I like to use. It's the Sigma Shader Lid E56. It's got a nice defined point on it. Very flat, good for placing down shimmer. I'm going to put this on the outer corner here and about into the center. And then I'm going to go in with this lighter pink shimmer and put that on the inner corner, blend it into the center, and then add a little bit of that Astralis Shimmer Pigment Pot on top. All right, these are the eyes complete. I'm pretty happy with them. Not bad, not bad. 
For mascara, I'm going to go in with a classic. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. If you've been around on my channel for a while, you would know I was on the hunt for this after you guys recommended it to me. I really think there's no need to be buying high-end mascaras. Drugstore is where it's at. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, this is good. For lipstick, I have these Essence. This is me lipsticks. I have two shades here, so let's have a little swatch. The packaging of these is absolutely stunning. Well, like it's pretty plain on the outside, but it's a really nice rose gold underneath. And these lipsticks are incredibly smooth and creamy, very opaque, and they leave a satin matte finish. So this is the shade 03 and this is 01. It's calling my name. It's calling my name. Huh? <laughs> and then I'm also going to go in with a little bit of gloss because I just can't help myself. This is the Barbie and BYX High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Girl Squad. It does look like a light pink in the tube, but it's quite clear when you put it on and it just leaves a really nice high shine and it's not sticky at all. I really love the BYS glosses. My other favorite is this Glass Glow. Look how much I've used, seriously. This is in the shade Colored Glass. I don't wanna put lipstick on the applicator, so I've just got a little bit on my hand here and I'm going to take a lip brush and just dab it on. Just in the center there. All right, well, this is the finished look using drugstore products under $15. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on any of the products that I used today. As I said, I will link those other videos down in the description box if you want to go and binge. Otherwise, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Don't forget to come and follow me over on Instagram and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you around here. I will see you in the next one. Bye.